took it and see came out uh, I like the title and I was very trying to like a mystery where, where did this name come from I thought it was first uh, you know Velvet Underground the first album the banana it's written he, yeah, usually slowly, in C. I thought oh, maybe maybe it came from I from see. from that but I was reading an old Mojo magazine and then I saw a review of Humbug and the title of the review was Suck It and See Be right, before yeah. Suck It and See come out and and oh maybe they took, took it from, from and then somebody sent me a picture of a candy store called Mr. Humbug and their slogan their slogan is Suck It and See yeah can you make it clear for me, please? Where did that, the title for the record was... Um, I don't know, really. We, we wanted to have a... We had a song called that on the album. We just kind of ran out of time with the title, really, to be truthful. And that seemed like it was a kind of snappy title. You know, some, some kind of... Uh, encouraging people to come on in and have a look and give something a try and it also sounds a bit naughty as well if you want it to so i guess that's what it's just a going. coincidence even the the mojo of, mag yeah, yeah. even the look? candy store it's it's humbug and second as well yeah i know it's all what a coincidence <laughs> you went to the United States uh, they got influenced by American music and then out of that came Joshua Tree a classic album by you two and I think that when you guys went to the United States to record with Josh home your sound changed a little bit uh, do you guys feel that influenced on your sound definitely when yeah, it that, happened that all the whole experience of that record was like very much like broadened our horizons I feel um, but that was the sort of point of it really was to kind of get out of this thing that we'd been doing and try go and try something else and, and so it sort of definitely worked for us on that level like after that you know when we went out there to make that record suddenly everything seemed very different and it, it sort of seemed like there were a lot more possibilities just from like being in that environment and like with with Josh and uh, Alan Johannes, the guy who engineered the record, just yeah, that whole thing really. I think we sort of took a a turn for the better at that point. assume that this hairstyle came from come from, came from the know, desert yeah come from Jeannie Vincent actually sweet Jean yeah well, be She's my the desert made it made me grow it out you know what I mean you sort of you, you lean back a little bit so, uh -huh. so that's when it kind of came it got as long as it's been I don't know, I don't know, I send time came to smarten it up. I'm up a bit on a string, Tracy Island, time traveling, diamond, could a sheep, heartache. And the latest music videos by the Arctic Monkeys, and we can see you acting and Matt Helders acting. Do, do you guys have any plans to, I, I don't know, be in a film or something like that? I certainly don't, but I think um, <laughs> Matt Helders might sort of be the next action hero of this generation yeah Die Hard 5 yeah I think he's been I don't know someone's approached him I think. yeah I mean he's reading he's looking over scripts at the moment it's all sort of script dependent I think you know he's kind of reading a few things but he won't let the man to be an actor it's right? got to be the right role yeah you know? <laughs> now it's getting dark Is there any chance for the Last Shadow Puppets to 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 do something? Um, maybe one day, yeah. Like definitely not, you know, in the next couple of weeks. Uh -huh. But um, I think somewhere down the road there might be. 
Yeah, I don't know. It could be like 10 years away, though. You know, it's like we're doing this, our thing now. The Monkeys, we're going to do another record uh, of the summer, I think. we we'll sort of start working on that. And Miles Kane is uh, just busy being a superstar elsewhere. So. <laughs> 